Hello and welcome back to another episode of Xenonauts 2. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our uh, playthrough, blind playthrough, but is of uh, the highest difficulty. It's time for another Observer crash site and we want that sweet, sweet, sweet experience plus um, a lot of corpses and so on and so forth. So, crash the Oppo, it is, and we're launching our combat team. Prime team is ready, as always, and we're going to find out whether or not we can continue to improve the accuracy of our snipers that is already ultra high. If we could do that, that would be perfect, because we would save ourselves a little bit of weight. So with that, let's go. It's going to be a night operation. I don't like night operations, but what can you do? Right, here we go. Start off with a beautiful sight, an alien right there. And put that on the ground. Couple of lights here and there should help us to illuminate the problem. Holly moves up, finds himself in a similar situation. Good. Well, four starters. Let's go and just completely destroy this uh, poor fellow. Followed by Tony Ruber. Hundred percenting this guy. Moving up, anchor down. That's one, and that's two, just so that we can see a little bit better. Shed it around. Takes a shot, and we're good. Let's make sure that there is no one hiding behind here. All right, there is not. Good, we're continuing to move up. The G moves in and just overwatches here. I think that's a good first start. Let's see what the aliens are going to do about it. A little bit of overwatch shot. Good. Well, we have this beautiful specimen here. Who's been hit once and twice. Oh, that suppresses him. Appreciate his persistence. Finally goes down. One and two. Just opening a little bit more line of sight, I suppose. Uh, 
Double checking. There is unfortunately someone here. So we gotta move back. Good. In terms of just proper overwatch and so on, we're good. Shields go to the front line. And Dilly G moves to here. Sniper moves to here so that we do have a. Uh, Tony moves to here so that we do have a good uh, angle. And I think we're fine. Let's take a good look at what else is happening. Few shots. Nothing to be worried at. Uh, they don't have plasma weapons. Jim, however, will take a little bit of damage. I think he has overall taken 13. Yeah, not even that. Okay, we can heal that off. Jim is good. Moving up. Sing a shot. Another shot. That hunker down and turn around. Look, and I think what we could do here is basically open that up and have a single assault rifle shot take this guy out so that he's not dead but unconscious. Not sure if that was unconsciousness or a sign of dying. Open up, anchor down, throw this in for good measure. Oh. Come on, really? Sorry, Jim. Okay. <laughs> well, this is crazy. We're hi hitting ourselves in the back. But... On the upside, you can see even a sniper shot only was hitting us for, I think, 16-ish. Alright, the farmhand doesn't take no for an answer. Goes in and unfortunately dies immediately.
Okay, well, it's not really removing the cover a lot. But an automatic fire is. So move back. Enders needs a little bit of healing. Then begins to move over here. And we got Sniper Enders reporting for duty. Which means we're down to one shield. Not the end of the world, but... We gotta play this one smart. Got one over there. And one over there. Slightly moving up. This and that. Over to here. Dilly is still fine. I think reforming our firing line is a good idea. Tony moves up, anchors down. Can't throw that far. Good, but that's fine. Billy is okay, and I think we're just ending the turn for now. check out this room and we have found our culprit right over there oh that was the that was the wrong move i wanted to move over first of all reload secondly move to here thirdly Take a shot. There we go. That's what we wanted. Press the guy. I actually just wanted a normal salvo, not a full suppression. But okay. Enders moves up, takes out the pistol, Jim moves up, good, we're fine. Let's move on. Move 
Moving in. Let's check out anything back there. Nothing. And we continue with semi-rapid advancements. Shattered moves up. Epi moves up. Sniper for Enders. Tell you what, the heavies either move fully or they don't move at all. Nicknack moves up. Jim moves up. Almost same for our Grandeur. Billy does a full move and will not need to move next turn. And I think we're good. Okay. Didn't even take a hit with Nicknack here. What I think we need to do is, first of all, suppress them. And then we're being suppressed. Well, fantastic. Fan-fucking-tastic. Tony takes a shot. Anders takes another shot. Lovely. The G takes a shot and we're getting that healing drone out of the way. Shattered Realm takes a shot. Epi moves up. Uncle Nuber moves up as well. And listen, overall I think that went well. Enders slight movement forward. Tony does the same, just so that we're not suffering too many range penalties. We had been suppressed last round, which means no proper overwatch here. Bit of light, just in case that ever was a problem.
Enders. Again, it's a bit closer. And everybody is ready, generally speaking. All right, let's wait for them to come out or we are going to come in. Either way works for me. Lily G changes from long ranged to very much short ranged in a second, not yet. But the laser weapons are naturally refilling, which is great. Sniper moves fully up. And look, we're just gonna stay here for now. We're good. Okay, opening, let's go. Let's go, boys. Nothing there. The G moves in. Shadow Realm moves in. Happy moves in. And the heavies are moving in as well. Listen, we're going to be the eyes and ears outside here. Just in case someone or something is still coming up. And next turn, we're going to get that supercomputer. Polly. Looks up, spots the enemy. And nicely suppresses them. Take that. And that, you foul beast. And that. Very good. Dilly G has spoken. Good. Very good. We got another life specimen. Which isn't bad, I suppose. That's a good outcome. Time for an after-action debrief. So, G only got one strength. But Tony here got plus one accuracy, which suggests that we... Well, potentially, here's the thing. 
G already has a hundred accuracy, but five are detracted by the suit that he's wearing. So Tony didn't have a hundred accuracy, hence they can still get more. I'm just trying to understand how how the game works. So here. The base is 99 for Tony, whilst G already has 100. The only reason why he does not uh, live up to 100 is because he has a heavy armor. So, yeah, I think we can still use uh, the... We can still use uh, the um, hit uh, help, so the technical computer or whatever it's called. Ghost weaponry, damage multiplier 175, and armor destruction does a lot of penetration. Each of the guns is built around a pair of powerful superconducting e electromagnets. Ooh, a full set of new weapons. Heavy Gauss weaponry. Ooh, okay. Look, I am thinking, should I bite the bullet and just get Alien Origins now? 150 grand funding isn't isn't something to scoff at. But equally, Alienium Explosives are very nice. And so is my dropship, by the way. Okay, let's get more funding and advance the plot because next next iteration we need to build another base so let's take a look sniper rifle here 70 damage are you kidding me all right and i thought our precision laser is great with 50 holy moly that's a lot of damage but these things come at 50 grand a pop. Mm. Machine guns, 60 damage per hit. Wow. The rifles, 60 damage per hit. And even the pistols with 50 are freaking amazing. Oh, wow. Okay, well... Let's start two lasers, followed by two machine guns, and then we will need to sell stuff, because this uh, the weapons are too good to not uh, take them. Wow, Gauss weapons. Good. This base is fine for now. If we could build another ra radar, that wouldn't be bad. But look, for now, it's okay because for the first time we got a radar, right? So, of course, you can always have more radar uh, space. But we don't have the money at the moment. Are we done with the gas machine guns? No, we're not. Good. Now, now we definitely need a new project, and we need money for that. So, a couple of living specimen, mantarks, yes. Protectors, yes. I don't want to sell any of that. And I think we're just going to sell a couple of civilian corpses. And a couple of rat corpses, because why not?
gives us 250, which is enough for a few more weapons. And we want to upgrade next up the Ra Gauss rifles. Two of them, please. Pistols are 50 grand. But they are good. They are very good. But other laser web uh, pistols are good enough for now. What is a laser pistol's damage? It's not too bad. And it kind of gets its shots back. Okay, well. One thing that they have done quite well in this game is to, to keep you short on funds. I've never felt like we had too many funds, really. So, question is, do we want to have a luxury, the luxury of a few more Ga Gauss pistols? We, we need at least three. The answer is already yes, because you can see that I'm building them. Um, but yeah, having having better weapons always helps. And it can mean the difference between surviving and failing a mission. Good, and whilst we're at it, do a bit more guardian armor, please. These things are also not cheap, but they are super helpful. Good. Now we are done with the production. Plot is almost researched. And in terms of soldiers, the new uh, recruits that came in are now already corporals. I have not seen a lot of stat increases, but that might come over time. It's only been a few days. Alien Origins. After careful monitoring many hours of transmissions, uh, gain access to a hyperdrive system, previously navigational data within. Struggle for some time to understand hyperdrive, possibly a function across interstellar distances. Truth is simple, our primitive minds fundamentally misunderstood the purpose of hyperdrive. Alien foes are not using the device traverse uh, universe, instead they remain in roughly the same physical location and jump across the multiverse. Explaining the compass of a multidimensional travel uh, succinctly is difficult, but it appears that uh, a great many alternate dimensions are actually far closer to us in terms of energy expenditure than Pro uh, Proxima Centauri. Our enemies uh, thus also originate from Earth, but an Earth of a distant dimension might uh, differ greatly from ours. Uh, these Eternals seem to interdimensionally explore, appears only a handful of such dimensions exist, out of many thousand recorded within the hyperdrive. At the center of this hyperdrive map sits an eternal homeworld, uh, the seat of their empire from which the invasion must originate. Capture, uh, capturing alien units, particularly high-ranking ones, for interrogation should solve the problem, uh, furthering us with sufficient information. Okay, that gives us more money. And that's what we wanted in the first place. So now the question is, do we continue to do interrogations? Specifically the ones that increase training rate, which now would be helpful, I would assume. And also 15% extra damage. Or are we going into more heavy gauss weaponry for our interceptors? Hmm. Or alien explosives. Or are we finally getting my Dragonfly dropship? I tell you what, we're going to get the Dragonfly dropship because elsewise I have uh, the dumb, dumb feeling it never gets done.
might as well get upgraded uh, interceptors as well and see how much they cost. Maybe they can fly a bit faster. So far no further UFOs are here, which is good. Might get another funding now, right? Good, we have an extra quantum laboratory and 2.5 mil. That is great. Okay, a lot needs to happen now. In terms of research, let's hire scientists. Good, we're starting with that. That's important. Secondly, um, base building. I think we're okay here with that base. We might want to hire new soldiers. It's a new month, so recruiting better soldiers might be the way to go. Why are your stats so shite out of uh, outside of bravery? Same uh, ordeal here. This one here is okay. This one is actually quite good. This one is actually quite good. And this one here is good. Other than that, everybody else is not so good. So we're recruiting those three. And I'm trying to get enough soldiers for like two squads. I think we're okay for now. We want more guardian armor. Good. Plenty of guardian armor there. And now I think we wanted to build another base, which will create the majority of our expenses. I think it's Mexico. All right. Starting here. Getting at least two hangers in. Fair enough. Radio relay from the beginning. Um, one generator. And one defense. Um, yeah, that must, that must be it for now. We wanted, ah, oh, we wanted an Asia Pacific, we wanted to build another, another radar array, which is 400 grand. So, question of the day is, where do we get the other, uh, the other money from? Hmm. Gun drone. 
Might just uh, remove that as well. We're not getting all of the money. We are currently at 180,000 and we need 400,000. And what I would propose to do is one, two, three, four. Sell a little bit more and then we're Gucci. Okay, and what we want to do is another radi uh, radar array here. We will we can get a third one next time. Might need to build another reactor in order to power all of it, but yeah, a larger influence circle will be super helpful. We're slowly but surely building up a worldwide organization. Okay, look at that. Um, Wasp and Krabby already have been promoted, so we got three new recruits in. We're going to name them because you guys wanted to be drafted, and I got the drafting screen right there so first one will be John Calabro no, no, no. let's go again welcome buddy by John Calabro and King Joby will be the next one here And that's pretty much it. All of the comments. So we got one more left over, which I will name after a long term subscriber. Or Sabub. There you go. Cool. So we got a couple of new privates, and you can see that the training actually works out well. These guys here have already from been promoted to um, to sergeant, and you can see that the stats below 50 are slowly increasing. So I actually appreciate the training facilities. Oh, nice! Three UFOs. Launch interceptors. Let's go. Trail until overland. Which just so happened. And now we got a triplet. Oh, no, 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 no. Scouts and fighters. I don't like that. So Angel 2 cannot take too much damage. Angel 1 therefore needs to tank. And Angel 1 and Angel 2 both go for the fighter. Let's start. Alright, pause, 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 pause. Um... I think we're okay until the fighter comes closer. Good. Switch to the fighter. Take the fighters a bit more serious. 
Next nine days will be hard. Let's launch interceptors. We need stronger interceptors. It feels like we've really not made any progress in terms of armor. Damn it. Can't get there. We shot one UFO down, and that was pretty much it. These guys are creating terror here. Launch aircraft. Let's try that again. Now. Okay, we'll just let them. The air, uh, aircraft battle is still very clunky. Return to base. Good, that was a big fat lesson. We need upgraded weapons and we need better interceptors. This is bullshit. Our interceptors are not good. Are you kidding me? Launch aircraft, let's go try that again. Nice. All right. So Dragonfly dropship, 12 people. And is that two vehicles on top? Wow, that would be good. I can tell you what we're going to do. Definitely advance interceptor. This is starting to get annoying. Alright, commence attack. We don't have a lot of fuel left. Barely managed to get uh, to get to them. We'll get that fighter first. Bam, bam. Couple of shots. Very good. Well, now we're focusing on the scout. Retreat. Unbelievable. Doesn't have any fuel left, so we needed to retreat or lose both of them. moment that this guy shows up we'll give it a hard time okay by the way uh, how much does that new aircraft cost well 300k that's almost nothing no no wait that's the R oh 500k mm-hmm Just out of curiosity, how many seats does the normal Skycraft have? Oh, we could carry one uh, vehicle on top. Or is that exclusive? I think that's exclusive when I tried bringing uh, vehicles along. Okay, yeah, vehicles are competing for spots against soldiers. And so far, I favored soldiers. But 
thought we might build a little vehicle or two. Huh. Yet again. How is our aircraft looking like? Angel 3 and 4, good. Two more days, yeah. We can't do anything unless they come closer over here or just too far away. Nope, not happening. There we go. There we go. That's it. You are close enough. Launch aircraft and let's go. Health 150, cannon hard points times two, which means more regular uh, fights. Higher upkeep, but the speed is good and 12,000 kilometer range. How far is uh, we need advanced heavy gauss weaponry. Thank you. How long is the distance of these guys? So half of the speed. A fraction of the distance. And much less... Much less sturdy. Okay, we can't get all three down. We already know that. Fighters are dealing too much damage. But what we can do is we could intercept a fighter here and then retreat and then re-engage. Bomb, bomb. Shut down. All right. And retreat, retreat. Did I just say retreat? Okay. Okay, well, apparently that does not work. Like I said, the air air to air combat is a bit clunky here. Okay. Ooh, successfully retreated. Very good. Good. We're just going to refresh the weapons. Fuel is good enough. Launch and go. Good. Both attack the fighter. Bam, bam. Lots of shots. Wow, that scout is durable. But everybody eventually needs to go down, and in this case, we nailed it. Crash site, finally. Finally, we have shut it down, and we're definitely going to go there, not a question. I think we do have a full kernel team almost. All right, Nick Nick, the party snacks stays at home 
and instead Zoe is uh, back in action and that's our prime team if you take a good look we got a full team of colonels for the first time lovely good frontliners are okay that extra sniper is fine let's start just out fitting our snipers shall we there you go sniper rifle and we got a nice little pistol put some extra magazine in as well for good measure and he is maxed out in accuracy so I think instead of the stun baton you know what we're, we're keeping the stun baton good enough ammunition 15 shot in the pistol that is great sniper pistol one two pistol clip we need to aim better and a bit more ammunition that's all the sniper needs 35 armor great weapons Good. Zoe is ready. Same here for Jim. I'm a bit disappointed that the Grandier never got an upgrade. It's a bit sad to see we're still rocking the same grenades I think what we're going to do instead is that as an upgrade Well, that's eight shot right and a flashbang gotta be a bit more modest with our grenades then these weapons have a lot of ammunition so I don't think that we're ever going to run out We're good. For the ones in the front, I would say Enders, you take a laser rifle, that's good enough. It doesn't even need uh, to have ammunition. And Polly rather goes with uh, the stun baton. Which is fine. And if you look at everybody's armor, we're rocking a a solid 35 armor on everyone with massive massive weapon upgrades if this here wouldn't be a stun option I wouldn't even consider it because 50 damage on the pistol is just so much better this is actually crazy damage on the pistol okay well that's pretty much it this is where the uh, where this episode ends. The next time, we're finally going back to another crash site. Stupid UFO.
is um, is shut down. And one last observation: we will need to buy a lot new aircrafts. So that's five hundred, and we might need three Phantom interceptors. That's one point five mil. I would take a wild guess and say five hundred thousand to get gauze upgrades for them. These bad boys here, however, do have two heavy weapon slots, so they can close faster. They don't rely so much on torpedoes, but they are essentially just flying in and killing the enemy. And yeah, most of most of our weapons for now should be fine. I mean, we could build two more pistols if we so desire. But I think for now we're good. I'll just use whatever uh, we have uh, left over. Such a Mars station would actually be helpful, but yeah, again, let's stick with the soldiers for now. Look at that, all of the newcomers already got the corporal rank, they immediately got training. Training rate 9, we can even improve that with more research, but it felt like the Gauss weapons are important. So let's do those, and then we're continuing the interrogations, maybe even the alien officer, who knows. The explosives look like a fantastic option as well. There are just a lot of good options. But now we do have 250% research speed, so we should actually be able to speed quite a bit of that up. Good, enough bubbling. We have a job to do, but that happens in two days. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy Xenonauts 2, and if you do, leave a comment and a like down below. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.